so you know, we're thinking, what do we do? How do we celebrate 30 years, three decades on television, which wow. is incredible? I say we need to eat some cake. Yeah, of course. Right? Absolutely. We're gonna bake a cake. Yeah. Well, the cake has already been baked. Okay, good. We're gonna <laughs> eat a cake. <laughs> that's, that's it. Right? <laughs> One of the questions I get the most often at Chatelaine is, how do I? decorate a cake. Oh, we're going to decorate we're, So it's just, just really just about decorating because I trust all of you. I trust everybody at home. We I even trust you. Cake. No, you can bake a cake. <laughs> yeah, you just go to the store. It's in a little box. No, my darling. <laughs> no, you it don't. It is easy. Easy. And the tricky part comes to when you're decorating. And there are mm -hmm. a couple of really good tips I'm going to give you today. And let me tell you, I am not good at this kind of thing. Okay. So if I can do this, anybody can do this. Okay. I and work it's very with two, pretty. I, well, I work with two professional cake decorators. They can make a cake look like a fire truck if you right. want. Don't tell my kid that's what he's getting for his birthday. Oh, oh that's wow. so cute. Um, he's but love not it. when you get the professionals. Um, but this is just going to be a beautiful homemade cake. It is carrot cake. Yum. With a white chocolate cream cheese frosting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? So. Good stuff. I think it's good for a uh, birthday, baby shower, Saturday afternoon. It's just a good cake. anniversary, whatever. Exactly. Yeah, whatever okay, so I've got my two cakes here. And uh, number one key, they've got to be cold before you frost them. Okay. They Not even a hint of warm anymore. Like, actually, bake them yesterday. Bake them last week and put them in the freezer. Yeah. That's really the ideal. Because it's just going to melt. If it's they're just warm, gonna melt. all that frosting is going to melt. Now, these come out beautifully. And you can make this a beautiful two-layer cake. Cake, yeah. Or you can kick it up one big fat notch and make a four layer cake. Ooh. You take your saber. Okay. And okay, so I'm gonna cut this cake in half. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing here is don't just like cut it like this. Yeah. Like you're cutting a bagel. Because you know when you cut the bagel and one end is like that and the other end is like that? That's not yeah. good. That's okay. not attractive. No. No. That's not what we want so here. So slow and steady. Mm -hmm. You get yourself nice and low. And you just start going around. You can even use toothpicks like to mark it. Oh, that's smart. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. And you just go around. But you're the doing edge. good eyeballing it. You kind of eyeball. Serrated knife is the way to go here. Yeah. And then once you get all the way across, then you can just go through. Go through. And just oh look at I'm already messing up. That's what I would do. Exactly. Don't judge her, okay? But it's okay because I I saw that and I caught and myself. And you fixed it. I caught yeah. myself. You can always do that if you're going slow and steady. If there you were we doing go. it really quickly, you, you wouldn't be able to catch it. Now no one's going to notice eat that. that like I a sandwich. I know. Me too. Don't you? So we're going to do a kind of a um, a botched job here for TV. Yep. Um, but this is the way you keep your plate clean. You keep your parchment paper down like this. Mm -hmm. Then you put your bottom layer. I always use the top as the bottom. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah, so you can okay. flip it at yeah. the end. Uh -huh. No, I'm not going to flip it at the okay, end. Okay, never mind. Whatever. This is it. Once it goes on this plate. I have no idea why you did Next that. time it's coming off is when it's going into my mouth. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so you use your bottom as your top. Yes. Okay. Now, frosting. Okay. Now, another top key. Bottom. <laughs> another key. That's good. Yeah. Stop. Can you just, is it all right? Mm -hmm. Does it taste okay? No, yeah, I wanted it's to good? try it out for you okay. guys. It's good. So you start with a really thin layer. Oh my gosh, it's really good. I know, it's the white chocolate, and I am not a white chocolate fan. Me neither. So but it's working for me right now. It really is, and it does something to the cream cheese, because I'm not the hugest fan of cream cheese I like cream icing. Cheese. Now, okay, so you can see that that's not really that much icing, but this is going to no. be a four-layer cake. Right. Okay, so, so now... So you go easy. You don't have to, you know, put it all in in the first layer. Exactly. Now, another layer. Okay. Uh, Some more I really, icing. I should be using two bowls here to keep my icing clean, but that is all right. Yeah, but who cares, because we're just going to be eating it, so I It's feel. true. It's true, but we want it to be pretty. Okay. Now, imagine that I had turned that guy into two layers as well. Right. And then he goes on top. Okay, so now good. here's the now here we go. We're gonna now we're gonna make this puppy beautiful. Okay. Now is the time to use a lot. One metric ton of frosting. <laughs> and you you put it all on like that, huh? <laughs> I know. This is the fun part because it's okay. just absolutely crazy over the top. When I made okay, my boys when I made Thomas's birthday cake last year, mm -hmm. I made it on a Friday night, you know, the I party saw was, it. It was so it was good. so fun. I had so much fun making. It was pretty simple, but by the end of it I said to Michael, <laughs> I never want to see cake or frosting again as long as I live because I was just constantly eating it. How can you not? How can you not? Okay. That's the joy. That's the fun of it. So what I'm going to do is push it off of the top. What's that thing called that you're using? This is called an offset palette knife. That's so good to have. Because what would you use if you didn't have that? Could you use a bit? Like, is there anything? It's five dollars. Honestly, okay, get it. maybe it's ten dollars. Okay. You, if you're gonna bake get a cake one. in your lifetime, buy get one. one. It's All also right. a really handy Even tool. If you you can use it once. You can use it to flip pancakes. You can use it That's to, true. Uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Okay. So now, again, flat surface. Yeah. 
and then I just start doing the sides. And because it, all of that extra icing is hanging out over the sides, yeah. it's just there for me to flop around. And because I've used so much. There's so much extra. Claire Tansy, let me try it. <laughs> I'm not going to disappoint. Judgment. Reserving judgment. I'm You're not going to disappoint you. You're doing so beautifully. Stop judging me, guys, off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> I, hear, I hear what you're saying. Now, of it's course, all good. The other thing is now, Tracy, it's looking fantastic. Right? And all I'm going to say good. is that when all else fails, Put in candles and call it a, a day. A ton of this beautiful, this is flaked coconut that we've just toasted. And nice. that will cover any sins. <laughs> oh, mm. that's so, look at how pretty that looks. I know, isn't it? And then we have a beautiful happy birthday City Line cake. Oh, yay! Oh, yay. Happy birthday City Line! Yay. yay! Beautiful! Not bad, right? Just yeah. put that side to the audience. All right, let's go to break so I can eat that.